After I learned this recipe, I only want to eat rice like this. Let's start this recipe by cutting 400 grams of pork in large pieces like this. Why do I do that? Why don't you tell me where are you watching this video from? So that I can send you a special hug on the next recipe. Now let's transfer it to a bowl. And then let's season it with 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of oregano, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 3 minced garlic cloves, and 1 lime juice. Now let's mix it really well until all these ingredients are well combined. Guys, this recipe is easy to make and the result is incredible. Now in a pot, let's add a drizzle of oil and one tablespoon of sugar. Let's wait until it melts completely, until it turns into a caramel, just like this. Now let's add the pork. And today's special hug goes to Linda Lefton from New York. Thank you for watching our videos and for following our recipes. It's a pleasure having you here with us. And let's fry it until it's golden brown. Just like this. Now let's add a half chopped red bell pepper, one diced red onion, cilantro to taste, a half diced green bell pepper, three minced garlic cloves, and let's fry it for a couple of minutes until it's just like this. Then let's add 500 grams of rice, one tablespoon of paprika, and let's mix it really well until all these ingredients are well combined. Now let's add water. Here I'm using 600 ml of water. Let's also add 2 leaves of laurel, 1 teaspoon of salt, and let's mix it. Let's put the lid on and let it cook until the water dries. After this done, let's make this movement with the rice, like this. Let's cover it and let it cook for 5 minutes more. And our recipe is ready to be enjoyed. This recipe is really easy to make and the result is incredible. Try it at home and I'm sure you won't regret. Hope you liked and I see you in the next one.